What is going on guys? We're most here bringing us a brand new type of video today. Today I'm bringing you something I want to do in the future uh, called a studio sessions. I just want to show you how I made my song Live a Lie and tell you a little bit about the story of how I wrote it. So, start off first, the way I wrote the song. I wrote the song about uh, late April, early May. I wrote it about 30 minutes. I heard the music and I was like, man, I just have to write a song to this. And so I just sat down one day in my dorm room and just cracked it out real quick. And I looked at my roommate and I said, I think I have gold with this one. So that's how the song came to be. I mentioned in the behind the scenes video, the way it came together was pretty quick. I came home from college for the summer First thing I did was sit in my studio and record a demo of Live a Lie, not expecting it to be out anytime soon because I had like a plan for my music and this song just spoke that it needed to be out. And so I just kind of readjusted everything and said, all right, super speeding it, which, in, which had the super fast album artwork shoot, music video and all that. It just kind of zoomed on really fast, but I'm really happy with the way it all turned out. And you know this song, it's the first song I've done in Adobe Audition so it was a lot of learning and a lot of just learning new techniques when it came to recording and I just want to kind of take y'all through what it looks like in my mix file. For this song and every song that I do right now, I mix, record, and engineer it myself. So the first verse is actually pretty simple, it's just one layer. But the chorus is not as simple. As you see here, the chorus has many layers. So what the layer says, it makes the chorus sound bigger. Even though, yes, it's technically a solo voice as the chorus, it gives it just bigger layer that makes it feel grander than it would if it was just the solo voice. So what we do, some people just do it single. I like to do stereo so that way when you're listening to it, it feels bigger and it feels more like encompassing with the music. And so what I do is, you see the two to say double, that's me singing it the same way I sing the main chorus. It's a, sung the exact same way, just in two different recordings. And then high left is my falsetto. And I'm going to play these in a second. And that's the where I do the falsetto version of it. And, it's, and for this song, it's not every song, but for this song specifically, the falsetto was the harmony. And then you see the harmony, where I sing the harmony. And then you see the deep left and deep right, which is like singing down like this. And it doesn't sound great, but it gives your voice this great bass tone. It really just gives it this nice little feel. So we're just going to, I'm going to single through each one and let you hear what it sounds like. We're going to do the doubles in the second chorus because the first chorus is not a full chorus. It's only a second. It's only like half of the actual chorus. So I'm going to show you the double for the second chorus. So here we go. cool thing about doing these layer vocals is that you slightly can mess up on them and no one will know. Unless some people, some people can pick it out. Okay, so I'm going to preface this with the harmony and the falsetto. When you, I do use autotune. Oh, this is my first song really experimenting with it. It's not like I use it crazily because I'm pretty good at hitting stuff on tune because I've been vocally trained and, you know, I've been doing music for years. But, you know, autotune also kind of gives it this cleaner, smoother sound to the vocal. So I wanted to apply it. But when you do falsetto and the harmony, the sometimes the auto tune's like, what are you trying to do? You're kind of gone, kind of going a little off the rails of what you normally do. So auto tune kind of has its own little mind at times. Here is the falsetto. <laughs>
So you notice, I didn't have a falsetto part to live a light. Cause it did work, but you kind of heard them more in that part. And, I, and the idea is that you can hear the layer vocals, but you can't really pinpoint like all of them. And with those, you were able to pinpoint. So I had to ask those. Here's the harmony. Harmony is always weird. You can never exist. Sometimes you never know exactly. Are you singing harmony? Or are you just really going off key into your little world? And last but not least, here is the deep vocals. We love the deep vocals. <laughs> A big part of the song was I wanted to make it feel grander. So what you see here in the second verse, I did these things called the UL. The idea was the second half of the verse, it felt like it just needed this extra little, it needed extra little something, needed a little extra flavor. So I, what I did is I sang the harmony for the second verse. So I'm going to play that for you. What I really love about that is just it makes the second verse just feel fuller. It makes it separates it from the first verse. It makes it feel bigger and progressing in the song. And then of course you have the ad libs, which is fun fact, all the ad libs in the second verse, these were done all on the first try. Like the first try I said, oh let's see what ad libs I can come up with. These were all the first oh, try. Yourself, you don't know yourself. cool when I did the music video um, I was like man I don't want those ad-libs to kind of fall just behind and just be heard so when I had the, I already had the idea for the guitarist and the singer version of me so I said let's have, let me have the guitarist version of me sing kind of be the background singer and singing the ad-libs I think it worked really well it made it nice to have moments where I could cut back between the two and really just give just a nice little breather between the two so now let's talk so now we talked about the layering of the vocals how to make the verses grander so lastly i just want to talk about the final chorus the final chorus is grand it has all the layered vocals you see right here but also it has the chorus which is a whole brand new version of the final chorus because it's supposed to feel bigger but also what you see here is thing called the fine SCS ad libs, mean final course ad libs, which are not really ad libs, it's more of a like I'm singing an oct I think it's like an octave higher, I think, of the actual chorus. And I knew it started from when I was singing the song in my truck, driving around right after I wrote it around my college and going to and from the gym. I just felt like it needed this moment before the final course where I go, yeah. So I it just something felt like that needed to be there so that spurred it on so when I did the demo I put that in there and I'm like well let me really just have fun with it and see what happens so I'm going to play the song right now and I'm going to just mute the main course and let the final course ad-libs 
kind of play with the rest of the song. So that, yeah, I love that part. I think it really makes the final chorus sound bigger. Not and only be, not only that. I mean, it, the final chorus also has this big more like, in my mind. And that little part there was something I really loved, kind of like this very big like raspy in my mind, which kind of gets lost in the grand scheme of the chorus because you have that octave high vocal that kind of distracts from it. And um, but I think they both live, and I think they both kind of exist and that's the cool part is that they both coexist and one doesn't have to outdo the other they both just kind of live together and perform great unity amongst the song and yeah that's pretty much how the song came to be uh recorded it i'll say it's been three weeks two or three weeks recording no i say two weeks it's been two weeks recording it sent it off to a bunch of people and, I, and the main thing was, a lot of times I don't send a whole bunch of stuff off to people to listen to. I kind of judge it on my own. Which is not the best thing. You need people to listen to your music before you um, finalize it. But this song, knowing that I was kind of pushing it out quick, I'm like, alright, let me send it out to more people and get notes on it. Music. But this song is my baby. I love it. I think it's a good uh, tone setter also for the music I have coming forward. My music schedule, kind of like, so I told a lot of people, and it's true, I know my music schedule my music release schedule pretty much from to like the middle of next year and who knows what's going to happen because I continue to write songs so new songs are going to be written and are going to be coming along you know you never know what the release schedule is going to look like but you're going to be getting music consistently from me for the next like year so just be excited about that the next song is going to be awesome um, getting stuff ready working on the song working away the song and kind of getting stuff ready for the music video and I'm really excited for the next song and the song after that and what's coming after that and a bigger project is coming later and um, yeah so I just want to do a little breakdown of how the song was came to be it's nothing like too crazy some songs have a lot of production some are more self-contained but I want to do this with every song that I release going forward I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to let me know if you want to see more of these studio sessions. And not most importantly, I mean most importantly, if you haven't listened to Live a Lie yet, go listen to Live a Lie right now. The link is below. You're going to see it on the end screen when the video finishes. Please go watch the video and go stream it on Apple Music, Spotify, wherever you listen to your music. Go listen to Live a Lie. It is there. It is waiting for you to press play. I'm Will Morris. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace. Cause I never lead you on, so why leave me hanging on? Rather you let me go and say goodbye. Say goodbye. Cause I won't never.